Welcome everyone to another video on the Karting Tips channel and today I'm bringing you one of the most highly requested videos in recent months and that is how to brake in go-karting. Now braking is vitally important because it can quite literally make or break your race. So sit back and enjoy this video and let's get right into it. When it comes to braking we first need to identify which kind of corner we're trying to negotiate. This is where we introduce what I like to call the radius rule. For a corner with a large radius, like a 90 degree right hand turn, you'll be applying less brake pressure than you would do when you're negotiating a corner with a smaller radius, for example, a hairpin corner, which is where you'd apply more brake pressure. Now, let's take the standard hairpin corner as an example, and we'll run you through the different stages of braking. So as we approach the braking point for the hairpin corner, our first job should be to identify a reference point for our braking. Now a reference point is something in your peripheral vision, which tends to be found to the side of the track, like a barrier, maybe even a tire, and it can also be found on the track in the form of a marking. And the idea is, once your go-kart gets to that reference point, that's the time where you should start braking. So in this case, the faded white marking on the track, next to the rumble strip, acts as our reference point. Now that we've started to brake at our reference point, the next question arises, and that is how much brake pressure should we apply, and which technique should we use? Now the key is to be on the brake pedal, for the shortest time possible. However, you want to slow the cart down enough to take the corner. And this is where you need to find the limit of hard braking. So the idea is to press the brake pedal hard with a good amount of pressure, but you don't want to go over the limit by pressing it too hard so the rear end of your cart snaps out on you because the rear wheels have locked up. Additionally, by perfecting the technique of hard braking, you'll be able to brake much later into the corner which will ultimately gain you those tenths of a second. Because on the other hand, if you're applying a gentle amount of brake pressure and you're coasting into the corner, a driver who brakes much harder and much later will overtake you heading into that braking zone. So going back to the hairpin corner that we were taking, we're going to brake nice and hard, applying a good amount of brake pressure, and we've slowed the cart right down. This will give us a chance to do our turning and really aim for our apex point. But now the next question is, how do we come off of the brake pedal? Now straight off the bat, you need to understand that the brake pedal is not an on-off switch. So the idea is to come off of the brake pedal in a smooth motion, rather than aggressively releasing your foot from the brake pedal. And now that you've released your foot from the brake pedal, you can immediately get onto the gas pedal or the accelerator, again in a smooth motion, this time you're focusing on the exit part of the corner where you're trying to maximize your exit speed so you can drive absolutely flat out to the exit part of the corner. Now let's review the stages of braking once more for the same hairpin corner. So we're approaching the corner from the outside edge and we're targeting our reference point which is that faded white line. And as our front wheels of our go-kart get to that faded line, we want to start hitting the brake pedal now. Hit the brake pedal nice and hard nice and firm with a good amount of pressure, really slowing the go-kart down as fast as possible. Now that you've slowed the go-kart down, come off of the brake pedal, get your turn in done, go for your apex point, and now apply the accelerator in a smooth motion. And at the exit part of the corner, run the cart all the way back out to the outside edge again, maximizing your exit speed. Now let's move on to the second example in this video, and that is gonna be turn number one, at the old Lucille karting layout. Now, before you hit the braking zone for turn number one, you're gonna be driving down a long main straight, which means you're carrying a lot of speed heading into that braking point. So it's crucial to identify a reference point for that turn one braking zone. And in this case, the red barrier, just before the electricity generator on the left-hand side, acts as our reference point. And as we get to that red barrier, we're gonna hit the brake pedal now Again, nice and firm with a good amount of brake pressure, slowing the cart down as fast as possible. And now that the go-kart is slowed down sufficient enough, gradually release your foot from the brake pedal in a smooth motion and transition right onto that accelerator pedal for the exit part of the corner. Now it's no secret, but perfecting this hard and late braking technique can take a lot of time and a lot of practice. Now a common mistake that drivers will make when it comes to braking 
is that they'll overshoot the braking point. This is because they're carrying far too much speed heading into the corner and they're totally unaware at where the braking point or reference point should be. So once they realize that it's time to start braking, they'll panic and they'll smash the brake pedal with all their might, which will cause the rear tires to lock up, hence the rear end of the cart will snap out on you and you'll go spinning. Now a useful way for you to improve your braking over time is to identify a reference point which will initially require you to brake early heading into the corner. And once you become more and more confident in braking at that point, make the reference point later and later into the corner, to the point where you're right at the limit of hard and late braking. And with that guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Now I urge you to go to your go-kart track and practice this braking technique that we've discussed throughout the video. And let me know in the comment section down below if it's helped you to improve your lap time at the track. And by the time you're watching this video, we would have hit 1000 subscribers on the K-Tips YouTube channel. And that is absolutely amazing. I really appreciate your support. And that's why in the next video, I'm going to be doing a 1000 subscriber Q&A. So in the comment section down below, leave a comment on which question you'd like me to answer in that upcoming video. Now, if you did enjoy this video, I'm sure you know exactly what to do. But until the next video, guys, I will see you next time. So keep karting and carry on.